This is our Winnebago Adventurer. So we had some rod on the back side here, but we opened this up, we stitched a new piece in, and then we got to laminate everything back together. That's what we did so far on here. There's a, that piece runs all along the bottom here. And then you see we got some steel for reinforcement up on this side to hold it all together. And like I said, we're going to glue it all in there. I'm going to put all this tape on here, but we're going to pull it all back together. That's what we got here. And then uh, we got to laminate some of this back together as well. And then we got a door assembly. When he backed up, he kind of crunched it. And we're going to tin that back into shape and uh, get it looking good. So then we got some other issues on the roof of this old adventure. So stay tuned, more to come. RV Winnebago Adventurer. Had a fiberglass roof on here. We had to take the fiberglass roof up. And we had some issues right here. This is all rotted, so we got to get we got blowers going right here to try to dry it off, and we're gonna have to remove all that. So that's what we're working on right now. But this is the actual roofing right here. This is a fiberglass. We may keep some of that so we make a better shoulder for it, just for our roof to come around. We'll check that out in a little bit. But uh, like I said, that's what we're doing now is just getting all this loose stuff up. It looks like this is into a um, a roof redeck on here. So. It's uh, come down quite a bit, took out quite a few plies on there. You can see that foam right there. There's polystyrene foam. There's a ply foam roof assembly. So the way it is, you have your roofing, you have that foam right there. Underneath the plywood is the foam, and then inside, right there, that is your ceiling panel. That's how it's comprised. So it's all one component. That's where you get the strength of the structure. So we're more than likely going to have to... Uh, Redeck it like I was saying and get it all right before we can get a good roof on here. More to come. That's where they're, this is the same one we just did the back wall over there. They're stitching that back together on there. We'll be back. Right, these are Winnebago. All right, we got all that rotted roof off. You can see we got the ply foam showing. We got all this dry down here. Got it mold killed. And what we're going to do now, we're just staging right here. We're going to redeck this roof. So, what we did, as you can see, we cleaned up all the loose stuff. So that'll lay better. And uh, that's it. That's it so far. And we'll be back with more. Once we get this roof deck glued down. You don't want to start peeling that up. Some guys watch the videos and they think that some of this stuff they do it by themselves and if you want to tackle that do not keep ripping that up you'll just take all the integrity out of there if it's loose it's loose if it's not it's not it'll stay tight but that acts as a structural component it's all laminated together so don't try to just keep peeling it up and peeling the foam out you don't do all that you just got to work with what you got that's the way it was designed you start doing that you're going to just open up a bag of worms you'll have to fix this to fix that because you did this and you should have done that so you just want to skin over it. That's what we're going to do. So we we'll move it right here and disinfect it. We're doing over there again. We're going to get another layer on it. Yeah, it's to be sure. That was pretty soft and we had to do some repairs over there. Right, we're trying to get this roof all squared away. We're going to get it reskinned. That's what we're doing. Relaminating a new piece on there. Rolling it. Just gonna put these cinder blocks down here to get that glue to tack up in time. That's what we're doing right now. We're uh, sporting her all down. Whoa. All right, this is our Winnebago. We are getting the new roof deck laminated down. That's what we're doing. The blocks will hold it down until the glue gets it ready. Tack it up. We just got one more sheet in here. It should be ready to go. Soak her down. Don't let me stall the production. You camera shy or something? Now we don't have any more box. Now we 
feel like carrying it. <laughs> lots and lots of glue. Where's the new guy? Look at this nice, even pattern we've got here. Look at there. That's the prettiest, prettiest bee. With the muscles in the hand. Look. That one's off just a little bit right there. Oh, okay. you tell he's There's ready. a new guy right there. Guy. Yeah, this is experience right there. I'm he's trying to catch up. All right, Baylor. I bet y'all won't hand me that piece of wood. Yeah, get my muscles in there, too. Yeah. Where'd they go? <laughs> they sagged to the bottom there, son. Oop. Oh, overhead here. That's an awesome shirt you got. You like that shirt? This is our old shirt. I might have to go in. Get bigger than those rivets. Mm-hmm. Back and forth. Use some All good glue right. on her. And then we there we push pinch her in. in. And you can see it pushed in. Squeeze it out. Mm -hmm. Dabby. Dabby us. Dabby us. Dabby. Then we roll her down. There, this is some good fabrication from RV roof and stuff. This reminds me of circuit. <laughs> That's a smaller one. Yeah. That's all they can This is a nine pound one. We got one more piece. Time for roofing. All right, this is our Winnebago update. Now we redeck the roof. Then if there's any inconsistencies, we kind of sanded it down a little bit. One nice smooth transition. This is real tight. We won't need to put the strips across this. That's real tight. All we did is just sand down where a couple of high spots may be for whatever reason from the old roof sometimes it'll cause a little buckle or what have you other than that we're ready to put the roofing on the material so that's what we're going to do here in a minute so this bending buffer is for the edge of this right in there for this piece so that's what that's for there's some staples and stuff under there so we just prudent measure to make sure we don't have anything compromised in the main roof so we'll get the main roof down we're going to roll it out. Once we roll it out, we glue one side, wait for it to flash off, then we flip it over and do the other side, roll it down. So that's what we're working on. She's a coming together. All right, this is our Winnebago. We've already got both sides glued. Now all we're doing is you're rolling it down. Next step is to cut out for the vents, plumbing, all those things like that, skylight, air conditioner, and then we'll mount the curbs, get them heat welded in. You have to roll and press this down, you get a really good bond that way. They don't do that at the factory. This is our Winnebago Adventure Update. We are done. Get the roof all glued down. Got a nice wine guard antenna. You can see the way we do the antennas right there and they're little bolts. If you ever have any trouble with these antennas, just undo those bolts right there, buy a new antenna, put it down, and then all you have to do is undo that coax on the other side right there, that coax. It take about 10 minutes to put it on. 60 mil TPO commercial grade roof is what we put down on here. You can see we've got all our curves welded in, everything all welded in over here. Everything's all done. We've got our brand on here. That says RVRoofInstall.com and it also has the month and the year that it was installed so people know what, how long it's been on here. We've got a nice boot right here for the ladder. We fabricate all of these components here at our shop. I designed all of these. Everything here is all my design. It's a, you're going to find curbs up on a commercial roof. That's what makes it function. If you don't have curbs, it's not going to function well. So like I said, this is a 60 mil commercial grade roof. But if I had put this roof down without these curbs, this would leak. You have to have the curbs. But we double sealed all down here. 
two layers of sealant on there. And boy, this looks nice and clean. This looks real nice and clean. And it'll stay that way for years to come. So there's a lot more videos up on our YouTube channel. You can see them up there. Subscribe. If you have any questions, give us a call. 423-475-7663. And you can uh, go to our website, rvroofinstall.com. And you can see why we install these roofs. There's a lot of roof systems out there. Do your homework, folks. There's some spray applications. My background is commercial roofs. Been doing commercial roofs for a few decades. If, and I've done metal roofs. I've done these type of membrane roofs, rubber roofs, all sorts of roofs. We've done coating systems. We've done a lot of things like that. If there was a better system out on the market today than what I installed on here, I would be installing them. I would hate to see someone have to put down a roof twice. It is way too expensive. You don't want to do it twice. But like I said, without these curbs, you don't put them on there, the roofs will leak. You can see we don't have all that caulking on there. That's all welded around there. Every bit of it's all welded. So the only caulking we have is way up underneath the cover, which you can't see, and we have a cover on there to seal around there. All this adhesive that we use, it's all commercial grade adhesive sealant. And you can faintly see that little yellow line, that's a special primer we do, and it pulls in the caulking right into the membrane. So we do things here to last. Now you come in for your inspections, this is a 20 year roof system. That's what we give on this, 20 years. So you come in, we're gonna do your inspections for you. If we need to touch up any of this caulking for whatever reason, if it just didn't look like it was seating well and need to be redone, we'll do that for you, no charge. You paid us to put a good roof on for 20 years and that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand behind it. And again, we're the only certified RV shop in the country. So you're not going to find anybody who's certified to install the roofs like we are. And in order to be in certified, you have to have commercial experience. So a lot of the other things we do is rebuilds. Over here, you can see we're working on a Class C. We rebuilt that bunk over there. And then we also got the whole front end taken out of this fifth wheel right here. And you can see all that up there. So we do a lot of reconstruction here as well. Like I said, do some, do some homework and uh, look us up on the, our website. Look at our videos. You'll see the quality work we do. You'll see the uh, things that we pick up that need to be repaired or need to be tended to that other places just miss or overlook or just plain out ignore. So thanks for watching. Like I said, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.